Five minutes later. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> oh, we got some a lot of cars in here today. Backstreet Gotti. Follow him on YouTube. Candy Grizzly. Candy Red Grizzly Bear Cutlass. We got the legendary Infinity Rail. <laughs> What's going on, y'all? What you doing, bro? Cleaning carpet in the box Chevy, LS box Chevy, man. You see this interior? Oh, he getting it together, y'all. How y'all like that? That boy went from black to clean beige. Scrub. Uh, uh, vegetable sandwich. I know you smell like onions. I think you can't just smell like a, a Whopper Bro, I We got some old schools in the shop today, huh? I wish I would have told you to grab me a sandwich. We home. Oh, my bad. No, you good. I just told yeah. you that. I ate that like an hour ago. What you get? Uh, I just get like all vegetables on the sandwich at uh, Subway? Yeah, Subway. Yeah, I ain't cut it in like two months. It is. Look at this, y'all. They got the crack top. I might go back to the shadow here. This but it's still, this one of the oh, rarest the joints you can get. Gold yeah, on gold. Like LS not. Box Chevy. Yeah, we got the legendary Infinity hard. Rail slash Rails carpet cleaning, cleaning it. What was the, uh, what was the, uh, the verdict on this, bro? This was a lot of work. I'm not even done yet, bro. I'm scrubbing these seats like Cuz told me to get. Yeah. And then we're going to clean it. And that's it. We're gonna see how it looks. You, you, you making it look pretty good so far. What you clean this uh, the passenger one with? Uh, that one looks way fucking bad. <laughs> that one look dirty here. Carpet cleaning solution. Yeah. A little bit of soap and water. Yeah. Ammonia. Yep. This one right here. This front one. It was the uh the dirtiest, huh? Yeah, it was the dirtiest. We gotta clean that. Hey, how the fuck you can see it should be dry? It's a lot of old dust and dirt in here. Because this car, we had this for a minute. Uh, this was... Uh, where would this car come from, John? You found it. Tell him about the car. Where you find this car at? I didn't find this damn car. You did find it. No, I didn't. I don't you the one right sent the link, stuff. remember? Did I find this Yeah, remember? I can't remember. It was like Why Oklahoma or... Like it was, it was, it was, you, you, you found this car because remember you sent it to me and sell at the same time. It was like Milwaukee or Kansas or something. I don't even know why I was looking at a car. <laughs> no, I think you just popped up and then you sent it and then he did the research. I found the IRAC earlier and I don't even like IRAC. Yeah, I saw that. We got this old thing. The IRAC? Yeah, it was nice. You put some black wheels black. and paint on that. Yeah, and get rid of it. Oh, you sent it to the group? No. No. Did I Got the paint it? fading right here. Just a little bit. Bro, yeah, it right. was in the group. I rock out the air right on there. Some right People like I rocks. All right. 
What about you? Know, they buddies. They buddies. <laughs> <laughs> we like Cuddies. Hey, listen. Monte Carlo. I almost bought it. Nine Nate. That box Chevy yesterday, and I was gonna buy me some Rucci sixes just to flip it. And now I realized I just don't like box Chevys or Rucci, so I just didn't buy it. Dang, this headliner need to be done a little bit. Yeah, and it's back here. Yeah, it's fading. Hey, Phil, where did this car come from? Try to get this whole thing brought to life just a little bit so the customers that want to get it, getting it all together. Floor panels. This is one of the rarest combos you can get, this triple. Uh, triple camera uh, gold tan 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 that's what that means triple camera uh, this car is made as you can see from the sticker oh you can't even see it but it's, well, it's an 86. They don't really make a lot of 86 LS. It's very, very few of them, y'all. But it's still... You can still find a few of them out there, but this color combo is just hard to get, period. You need a little bit of body work, but like little stuff like this. I never worry about this type of stuff when I want an old car, or when I went, when I want an old car, or when I... Oh, look at an old car. I just look at really how solid the body is. Like this part here, you want no rust going along here and along here. You don't want no rust. You know, a little spot like that, that's nothing. But like deep holes, like you want these door jams. You want this stuff to be good too. Cause this, all that, when you got playing around when you got an old car and you playing around with raggedy door drams, your body work gonna cost you a lot of money. So that's good that it's not rusted in there. Even the top, solid, solid. And along here, a lot of times you see on the windshield, it be rusted in here. You can still buy the car if you wanted it. But just know you're going to pay for some body, some body work, some serious body work. Because you can't have holes around the windshield and water running in. Look at that beautiful 86 clip. You don't know nothing about the box Chevy game. And you don't know nothing about old school for real. Box Chevy is a staple in the old school. You got cutlasses and all that. Dunks, of course. You got your... Chevelles, but box Chevys is definitely turning into a staple in the old school car game. And this mug is solid, man. Box Chevy guys, what y'all know about that? LS pillows. This the pillow right here. When you got this, this a pillow. Box Chevy pillow. The pillow seat, y'all. And we got the Malibu over here. Malibu is a uh, this an 81. This is an 81. Nineteen eighty one Chevy Malibu. Outside, yeah, outside. Alright then. Yep, this is an eighty one Malibu. We just we just this this one just need a little bit of 
cleaned up too. Uh, this car is, for the most part, a solid car. This car for sale. This car is for sale. This come with factory floor shifter and buckets. Look at that. What, man, you know about the G-Body game. You know how hard it is to find a Chevy Malibu with a floor shifter with bucket seats in it. Come on, man. And it's leather. This come from factory with the leather. Factory leather. That's hard to do. That is hard to do. I'm fine. Yeah, it's just even just sitting in it. It just feel good, y'all. It just feel good. This is one of my favorite cars. As well as that. As well as that LS Box Chevy. I'm an LS Box Chevy person. I like ball heads, hard tops. That's what they call hard top ball heads. I mess with full tops, you know. But that taper fade on that LS, that's a serious game right there. And it and it's and it's hard to get down to. It's hard to get down with it, but a lot of people that got style, they can do it. They can do it. With this joint here, a, a T top, uh, I mean, not a T top, a G body Malibu with the floor shifter with the two leather buckets. Man, that's hard to find, period. They don't even make a lot of G bodies with two buckets with a floor shifter, but then you got the Chevy Malibu with the floor shifter and the two buckets factory. Man. See, that's what I was talking about right here. That ain't really nothing as bad as I've seen much worse. I've seen it rusted all the way across here. But this one is just starting. But you always want to check that out when you buy an old school because you want to make sure you can save yourself some money, especially if you ain't doing a lot of work yourself as far as the body work concerned and all of that. This thing a little bit dusty, but... You know, it just need to get wiped off. That's it. it. Ain't nothing but dust. Then even they got all the, the bumper <coughs> weather stripping and the, the tail lights. That's a classic look from the Chevy gang. The tail lights on the Malibu and the tail lights on the LS. Look at that. When you see that, you just know, like man. You riding in the classic. Look what it say on there. Caprice Classic. Just tell you right there what's going on. You riding in the classic. You got a Caprice Classic. Riding in the Chevy Malibu. Even this color, just like a butternut tan yellow. Man, you gotta know it. I'll bring this. It's a lot of dudes with these cars restored back to this factory color. I would do this. We did one on the channel. If you look up on there, say uh, Malibu with 24-inch gold ruchies. That's on our channel, uh, on my channel. We did one that was re restored, but that one was like a Malibu LS. They got the they had the tan leather luxury type of top too. This one is this one is definitely hard though. This one is definitely hard. This one is like I said, like a tan butternut color with the tan carpet and the tan leather. Just needs a little bit of work, y'all. That's about it. Chevy Malibu. Ooh. What you know about that? And we got coming up next week. Or two. <clears throat> we working on this uh, Chevy Tahoe here. This Chevy Tahoe is probably like a, I don't even know, 07 to maybe 13. Let's see what year it is, y'all. This one is... 
manufactured on. Uh, what's up with these manufacturing dates on these stickers? You don't even see it, but it's got to be like a seven through about 2011. Probably got to put some wheels on here. Some big rims. One on this one. He already had the muds. Look like he had the muds probably without a lift. It's probably, yeah, 275, 65, 18. So all y'all that keep asking, hey, you, you got some mud, you, 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 you can put some mud on the truck without a lift. There you go. You don't got to ask no more in the comments. You don't got to send 1,000 messages, DMs every week. You could get two 75, 65, 18s if you got the 18-inch factory rim. Not if you got the 20-inch rim or the... 17 inch rim you gotta have an 18 inch rim and you can put it on there this this truck is going on some rims he got the muds already and then he probably going to a bigger rim go so back over here to the old schools still getting the box Chevy cleaned up Doing the seat, the back of the seats now. How was the back of the seats? It's cool, they dirty, but they coming back clean. Coming back pretty good, he said, y'all. Let's see what the light. Yeah, it's coming back clean. And the, and the factory back seat. The back of the seat. And the back seat, they both coming back pretty good. Yeah. I think this one is about to get sold. I can't hear you, see that? I think this box Chevy about to get sold. Yeah, we're going to get ready to get rid of this. So we just got to get it as clean as we can for the customer to see the potential in it. Sometimes when you're selling stuff, you just gotta get it as clean as you can so a person can see the potential. Even though we know what you could do to this dash. Yeah. We know what you could do to this. We just like to make sure we do good work and sell good quality so somebody else can be blessed with it. Yeah. That's what we know. Yeah. You don't got no cracks in the windshield either. That's another good thing, because you see a lot of box Chevys with cracked windshields because the, the glass just get old. This one don't got no cracks in it, y'all. But that's, that's a good thing. Save you more money. You don't got to get no windshield, and you don't got to get no rear windshield. You don't got no cracks in it, none of that. Just a little bit of body work. And straight lines. I like doing straight line body work. So, and body line, with the right body man, he'll bring all that back. He's already pretty solid anyway. But that's it for the video, y'all. So like comment i don't care if you commented about the damn football game that just happened last week or the basketball game or what type of rims you would put on here what type of rims you would put on the malibu what type of paint you would put on the malibu what type of interior you would put in the malibu what type of interior you would put in this box chevy it don't make a difference y'all just talk that's what we are about in this community Let's talk about what to do to these cars and how we going to do these cars. That's how you get ideas and build ideas and build with your family and your friends. How to talk about it. So let's talk about what we would do to this gold box Chevy. Let's hear some comments of what y'all think y'all would do 
or what y'all keep it the same or go back factory or what y'all put some different interior and still had a triple color like what you put some freaking tan leather with a new tan leather top and painted candy gold or would you just flip the color all the way and just come with a whole new color or would you just come with a new top and the color scheme to match the top with the interior or the paint brush wheels gold wheels 24s 26s 28s what you do to the Malibu, what you do 22s, 24s, 26s, 28s, forever, even 30s. Some dudes even put them on 30s. If you got that type of money and you and you like doing that to that, them big wheels on these cars, some people don't. Let's talk about it, y'all. Let's build up some ideas for other people so we can see more crazy cars and more nice cars being built. That's gonna ain't gonna do nothing but help us out to figure out what type of idea we gonna do to our car. I always talk to people about what I'm gonna do to my car. I don't care what they gotta say. And I don't care what they gotta think. I'm just looking for more insight and suggestions. So I'm, I'm learning the game as I even been in the game for 15 years too. Sometimes you've been in the game for a long time, you still learning. Just cause you've been in the game a long time, I mean, you can't learn nothing because the game evolving. Look at the way the scat pack and the, the Hellcat boys came in. Shoot. My generation, we come from riding big rims on charges and stuff. And now it's kind of changing a little bit, but I'm adapting to that too. I'm going to have all because I'm a, I'm a person who know how to adapt. I'm not afraid of growth. I'm not afraid of change. I ain't forget who I was or, or what I am, but I do know how to grow and adapt and evolve to the next level and change. So you got to move up like that. You know, I, I, I remember I watched the Snoop Dogg interview. They was like, what make you so relevant? What make you last so long in the game? And he said, I never was afraid to change. I never was afraid to grow. So you can't be afraid to grow. Sometimes you got to do it. Yeah, look at that back end. Yeah. Uh-huh. Are we going to see y'all on the next episode? Goodbye. Crazy color train, don't you see the pieces? So I said, boys, ball right down.